Back to Mrs. Agram's maths. We're doing another vectors question from the um, exam series that was in 2019. This is from the summer paper, question paper 32 from for the P3 exam. Have a pause, read the question, and I will carry straight on. Right, so we want to show that L does not intersect the line passing through A and B. So first of all, we need to find the line AB. So we can get the direction of that line from uh, doing OB minus OA. And that gives us 2 minus 1, 2. We can pop that into an equation for the line that goes through A and B by placing a point on the line. So in this case, I've used A. You could also use B. So pop A in and then go in multiples of the direction vector. And that gives us the equation of the line AB. Now, if we were looking for points of intersection, we would set that equal to L. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work as if we were trying to find a point of intersection and then show that it can't happen. Right, so the two lines would intersect when those um, two things are equal to each other. So this one is from the equation going through AB, and this one is from the line um, L that was given to us in the question. So the top two lines we can take out and do simultaneous equations. I'm going to subtract the, top, uh, the bottom one from the top, and that gives us, if we work that through, we get that lambda is 2 thirds. If lambda is 2 thirds, we can carry on and find um, what mu would need to be. So mu would have to be 1 third. And then we check with the third line whether that works or not. If lambda could be 2 thirds and mu be 1 third, would it work on the third line? So take out that third line from this equivalency up here. And if we put in the values of 2 thirds and 1 third, we get that a third equals five thirds. So that's not consistent with the solution we had before. Therefore, there's no point of intersection. Part two, we're told that the there's another plane um, or that's um, perpendicular to AB. So it crosses AB at 90 degrees and it passes through the midpoint of AB. It then intersects the line L that we were given up here at another point, which we've called P. We need to find the equation of m and the position vector of p. So if we go down here, I've just put some of that information down at the bottom. We've got a, b is normal to m, and the midpoint is on m. So if this uh, plane right here is m, then a, b goes straight through the middle, and we have the midpoint sits on that point of intersection. So first, we need to find that midpoint. Now, to get that midpoint, we would go from the origin to A and then half along the direction of AB. So we had AB from the first part of um, this question, just up here, the 2 minus 1, 2. So we can put in um, the uh, position vector of A, add on half the vector that goes from A to B, and we get our midpoint is 2, 1.5, 0 work on the equation of m. So the equation of m has um, the normal is ab. So we can put straight away the uh, direction vector of ab as being the normal and therefore the coefficients of x, y and z for m. And that's equal to d. We also know that this uh, midpoint we just worked out is on d, so it will satisfy this equation. So it's on m, will satisfy this equation, and we can work out d. So put in the values of 2, 3 over 2, and 0 for x, y, and z, and we can work out that d is 2.5. Now plug that back into our equation of m. However, I'm just going to adjust it a little bit because we don't like to have decimals if possible. So I'm going to multiply everything up and make it twice as big. It says the same thing, it just is a little bit tidier. So instead of um, 2x minus y plus 2z, we've got 4x minus 2y plus 4z equals 5. Step is to work out where our line L crosses this new equation uh, of, of the plane M. So there's our equation for L, just straight from above. And we all want to know where it intersects M. So we pop in the values of, um, so X being that top line, Y and Z here, and put them into the equation of the plane that we worked out over here. So work that through and we can figure out what mu needs to be and mu will be minus a half. Then we take that value of minus a half, put it into the equation for our line and that will give us the point on the line where that intersection occurs. So OP will be this with a value of minus half for mu and that gives us the position vector of P being 
three over two, a half zero.